What's up? This is how you play a legit tattoo gun by the front bottom. So, um, I'm going to play through it one time, then I'll go into detail on how to play it. It does get a little complicated and all. I'll, I'll try my best to teach it, so hopefully you can stick with me. Um, So, I'll shut up then and play. how you played the entire song um let's start off with the intro so the intro is he's doing a picking pattern um i'm gonna try to show it up on screen i don't know if you'll be able to see that you can pause it or something it's not the best it's just on paper i know very professional but uh i'll leave the tabs to it below in the description but um what you're doing is that you'll be picking the a and the d string the, the whole time, there's those two strings, and you just could be moving your finger down the A string. So the first one is you wanna, you wanna pick A and then D. You wanna put your finger on the second fret and pick that three times. So second on the A, three times, then slide to five, four, do that one time, then to five. And you wanna pick five, four times. So it'd be one, two, three, slide up to nine and pick nine three times one two three and slide up to 12 play that once and then slide to seven and play that four times so for right now the intros and again i'll put the tabs in the description or like I'll link to like tabs for this but um that's how you play the intro and he does that I uh, around seven times and then he plays the pre-chorus right before the chorus and what he does there is that he goes to fifth fret takes it three times fifth fret on the A of course everything's on the A pick it three times so A D A D A D then slide up to ten and then slide to nine and play nine four times, so. And then slide, after playing nine four times, slide up to three and play three four times. And then 
gonna slide up the two and play two uh, four times. So the full intro is. I didn't play that perfectly, but um, you kind of get the gist. And um, that's the intro. After that, he plays the chorus, which is three chords, third on the E string and fifth on the A string. The next chord is five on the A string, seven on the D string, and then five on the E string, seven on the A string. First chord, you wanna play it 16 times. So, The other two chords you can play eight times. And then repeat it. You can repeat it four times. Then after that, he goes back into the main intro slash verse, which is picking. Play that five times again, and then do the pre-chorus again, which is. And then after you get done with that, there's a pause. And this gets to like the um, piano section of the song, if you remember. And then during that, what you're gonna be playing is fifth, fifth fret on the A string, seventh fret on the D string. Play that one time, then go to 7th fret on the A string and 9th fret on the D string. And then there's gonna be a pause and then slide up to 3rd fret on the A string, 5th fret on the D string. So, how it goes. You play that three times. And there is a pause, so first two chords, pause, last chord. And then after that, you're gonna be playing the next part of the bridge, which is fifth fret on E, seventh fret on A. Play that eight times. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Third fret on A, fifth fret on D. Play that eight times. One, two, three, four. Then open E and say a fret on the A string. Play that 16 times. So it would be. that part twice um then after that you get to the second chorus and the second chorus is third fret on e fifth fret on a play that 16 times then open e second fret on a play that eight times third fret on a fifth fret on d play that eight times and play another part. This part doesn't really have a name. It's just kind of like, I labeled it groovy part. So what you play there is open E, second fret on the A. You wanna play that 16 times and then slide down to fifth fret E, seventh fret A, you play that 16 times. After that, you finally come to the end, which is just a repeat of the chorus, which is 3rd fret on E, 3rd fret on A, 5th fret on A, 7th fret on D, 5th fret on E, 7th fret on A, and uh, the, the first chords we played. song for legit tattoo gun um like i said it's very complicated there's a bunch of parts to it it's honestly not that hard to play but it 
will take you a while to you know understand all the parts um again i'll link i'll link to a tab <laughs> to make it easier to play and uh yeah hope you hope i did an okay job there's my writing of it but i don't even know if you can read that i have bad handwriting so um yeah i hope you have fun playing the song and learning and uh yeah bye